Right, and we are going to be seeing some decent weather over the next uh, couple of days or so. We're, you know, a lot of people might be a little bummed and kind of gloomy that it out there today, but heading into tomorrow afternoon about this time, we'll see a little bit more of that sunshine and you can see a little uh, bit of some lingering showers here the next couple of hours, but right around sunset, we'll start to see some clear skies out there and those clear skies will allow us for some areas of fog to develop late tonight and into tomorrow, along with the foggy conditions for tomorrow morning. Expect to see some areas of frost as well. You can kind of pick up a line of showers moving through just a couple of hours ago. Now we're going to start to see the showers taper off a little bit, and this is what we'll be waiting for us heading into tomorrow afternoon. A little bit more of the clearing, but after we see the clearing, we'll be seeing another round of some cloudy skies, and there's a chance we'll be seeing some rain move in as you get ready to wrap up your work week, and for some, it might be the spring break. And if you're along the Oregon coast for spring break tonight, you are definitely seeing some cool gray skies and some showery weather as well. Temperature right now of 48 degrees, and if you're noticing a little bit of a temperature change, yeah, a few locations over in Scappoose are more than 10 degrees cooler from where we were at yesterday. Of course, we topped out at 67 degrees for the second time this year. We haven't quite hit that 70 degree mark that typically on average arrives by April, early April. So we'll get we'll get there eventually. But uh, earlier today we were at 61 degrees just above average. Again, the record is 73 degrees. And as we look at the rainfall amounts, we're just under a tenth of an inch uh, of a deficit. We could easily catch up over the next week or so. And uh, on average, the March brings in about 3.68 inches of rain. So there's a good chance we'll be looking at uh, right around average rainfall by the end of the month uh, over the next uh, several days or so. And we topped out in the upper 50s, low 60s, despite the cloud cover we saw a good part of the afternoon and along the Oregon coast temperatures were in the low 50s. So as we break down the rest of your Wednesday night, you can see clear skies, like I said, right around 8, 9 o'clock this evening. And then there will be some patchy areas of fog develop early tomorrow morning with those uh, low clouds. There will be a little bit of some frost conditions with temperatures dropping pretty quickly. Uh, I'm forecasting overnight lows throughout parts of uh, wine country down in Newburgh, McMinn, McMinnville, down to about uh, the uh, low to mid 30s, and it will be feeling like spring break in Oregon over the next couple of days. A few more showers tonight, but for the most part, it's going to be more dry than wet and much warmer tomorrow by about a few degrees or so, and then we'll start to see our temperatures cool off again by the later part of the week. But right now, we're looking at a temperature of 58 degrees. This is from our Wells Fargo camera, and in terms of rainfall amounts, not an impressive amount over the next couple of hours of coast, of course, but heading into basically Friday night into Saturday, there's a chance to be seeing a little more than a tenth of an inch of rain, and then we'll be seeing some heavier showers move in by the later part of the weekend. So, like I said, morning frost and fog along the Oregon coast, but notice your daytime highs close to 60 degrees, and then throughout wine country, a chilly start, but a sunny and warm afternoon ahead. Daytime highs, don't be surprised if you're sitting at close to 65 degrees tomorrow afternoon, and sunny skies and cool throughout eastern Oregon, but burns We'll be seeing a temperature of 70 degrees, and here's a live look now up at the Oregon Cascades. 36 degrees, you're going to be seeing that snow level jump to about 7,500 feet tomorrow afternoon with highs close to 60 degrees throughout the uh, Oregon Cascades and up at Timberline Lodge and Mount Hood Meadows. So if you're going up there in the next couple of days, you won't see any new snow. You're going to have to wait a few days as you head into the uh, uh, Oregon Mountains. And throughout the Columbia River Gorge tomorrow, a mix of clouds and sunshine, daytime highs right around the mid-60s. Throughout southwest Washington, you'll be seeing temperatures in the low 60s and once we get past the morning hours, we'll be seeing a little bit more of that sunshine. Daytime high tomorrow of 62, a little bit cooler for Friday with some late showers, but we rebound pretty quickly because we'll go back from to the uh, low 60s for a good part of the weekend and before seeing cool and showery conditions heading into the early part of next week. But you guys, this is a typical spring forecast, right? Mm -hmm.